and, and I, I had a great time for 12 years, it was wonderful, and, and it created a wonderful environment, it means it, it's a great bunch of people, um, and, um, and I learned a number of lessons from it. Um, one of the first lessons I learned was something I, I always, whenever at Cranfield we had entrepreneurs coming in and talking about their businesses, um, uh, I also asked them about how they, start, how they started. Because originally when I started, I was talking about it with a friend of mine. And uh, I had this idea, and two of us were chatting, and we said, hey, let's go 50 50. And, I, and I, we didn't, and it's just as well, actually, because um, one, I didn't realize that he hadn't paid his VAT uh, for a long time and had to escape to Australia, and second, he was a cocaine addict. But he, um, so the first thing was, um, made him inappropriate as a business partner, um, and, and the fact that he was mad as well. Um, so, um, <coughs> but he did know, apparently, he thought he knew something about the internet, which I didn't know anything about. Um, a, a few months later, I knew enough about the internet to know that, in fact, he didn't know anything about the internet. Um, and he was a guy who I spent £70,000 on building a website with. Uh, but had I done that, or had, I, had there been three of us in the room when we had that idea, he'd have given away, I'd have given away 66% of my equity on, on, on day one. And one of the things you've got to think about when you're setting up is always assume that your business is going to be big. Don't give away equity cheaply, because it's very easy to give away when it's not worth very much. And I've done that a few, a few, on a few occasions. But I gave away a few shares here, gave away a few shares there. And now, because I look at them, um, you know, these shares which were, which at the time it might have been a few, ten, you know, ten thousand pounds, is you know half a million, a million pounds, and, uh, and you think, oh, that was, I gave away too much there. Um, so, so think very hard before you, before you, uh, before you give away. It. It's much, much easier to start a business on your own and bring in expertise either as investors um, uh, or or hire it. Um, that's the other thing. Um, but but you know, just because you're in, when you have the idea, you're sitting in a pub with your two best mates. Um, don't divide your company up um, you know, into thirds. Um, I also realised that decisiveness is one of the most important things. Lots of people can be very very bright about analysing uh, analysing the options. They can give you they can give you a PowerPoint presentation on what your six options are. But what they will not do necessarily is just say let's go with this one. And being able to take decisions without all you'll never have all the information available. Um, there is never a right answer, but you just got to have the courage to take decisions and take and take lots of them. And if you're right more than half the time, then you'll do well. But if you don't take any decisions, you'll never do anything at all. And uh, and, and I, I I've noticed that that's one of those things that's really important. Just just be decisive. Also, um, hire good people and let them get on with their jobs. Hiring good people has been the really it, it's amazing when you let them get on with the job and you stand back and suddenly things are happening when you're not there. And it's like spinning plates. And then you hire someone else to do that, and you get them going, and that's spinning another plate. And hire someone else over there, and they're doing that. And then when you've got nothing, you go and hold it. And, and the business still carries on. It's great. And so the great masterful thing about capitalism is that they're all doing the work, and then you can go and hold it, and you still get all the money. Um, <laughs> um, but it, it's, um, it's letting people do their job. And working out how many decisions you can really take in a day, and letting go of some decision-making process. Um, because because if you try and take, and some owner managers do this, try and take all the decisions themselves, then ultimately um, your business is restricted by the amount of bandwidth you have in your own head for taking decisions. Um, so, um, uh, so, so that was you know, the delegation thing was very, 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 very important. Um, but um, but I also, lastly, really realised that setting up a company in itself the process is fun. A lot of people focus on the exit and think, oh, I'm going to do this and they can do this and they work really, really hard and then I'm going to have an exit. Actually, the exit, in many respects, is, a bit, is always a bit of an anticlimax um, because it's a bit like finishing your exams. You know, you, you're looking forward to it, looking forward, then it happens, and then you, there's a bit of a void afterwards. Um, uh, the truth is that the process of building up a company is incredibly enjoyable in itself, apart from the bit about almost going bust. Um, uh, but 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 you know, apart from you know, it's a bit of a roller coaster, but it is a very very exciting process, and um, and you, you, it's, it's important to enjoy that process. Um, anyway, that's about all I have to say on that.